All right, Charlotte Wong, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. If you're a carnal minded person, this truth will not profit you. I'll say it again. If you're a carnal minded person, this truth will not profit you. Because the Holy Scriptures is a spiritual book and it takes a spiritual mind to connect with the words of the Holy Scriptures, which is Yahweh Shai. And what is the proof of that? Well, let's go to the book of John. Lord's well, I'm gonna try not to rant too much. Well, not try, I'm gonna make an effort not to rant too much. Okay, let's go to John chapter 6, verse 63. Okay, John chapter 6, verse 63. It says, It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. Did you hear that? The flesh profiteth nothing. And when Yahweh Shah say the flesh, he's not talking about your arms, your legs, your foot, your ear, your nose. He's talking about your mind because that's where all your thoughts come from. That's where all, that's where your intents come from. That's where your emotions come from. Okay. So how come your mind profits you nothing? Because the scriptures clearly tells you that the mind, well, it says the heart, but when you look up the word heart, it goes back to the Hebrew word lob, which means your mind. Okay, so your heart is really your mind. It's not talking about an organ that pumps blood in between your chests. Okay, your heart is your mind. And the scriptures tell you that the mind is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. And that's why the mind, which is your flesh, profits you nothing. You know, and uh, you got these guys showing up to camp, packing heat, wearing bulletproof vests, making camp videos. And these type of acts are results of you following after your own mind. Your mind told you that it's okay to pack heat. Your mind told you that it's okay to rap, to make rap videos. Your mind told you that that it's okay to, to, to make profits off of the truth. Your mind told you that it's okay to, to wear bulletproof vests. Your mind told you that it's okay to make video, make, make, um, but basically make videos glorifying yourself, seeking fame, popularity. Your mind told you that it's okay to find yourself. Your mind is, is what's telling you that whenever, whenever somebody's making a, a rebuke video on you, that, that, that they're hating, they're showing hate. Your mind told you that. You know why? Because your mind wants to do what it wants to do. And why is that? Because like it tells you in Romans, the eighth chapter, the, the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Why? Because it is not subject to the laws of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. 
That's why the Lord gave us the law, statutes and commandments as a guide so we can know how to conduct ourselves on the planet. So your mind is telling you that, that you know, it's okay to pack heat to camp and wear bulletproof vests and make rap videos and, you know, basically rebel whenever you get rebuked. You know why? Because your mind is not really being uh, uh, subjected to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding or to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Holy Scriptures. <laughs> okay? So that's why your mind, and, 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 you know, that's why, you know, guys is getting all butt hurt whenever they get rebuked. And again, your mind is telling you that it's okay to pack heat, to camp and do rap videos. And to basically rebel when you get rebuked. But is that what the Lord told you to do? What your mind believe is right. It's not the same as what the Lord believes is right. Because like it tells you in Isaiah 55 and seven, let's get that real quick. Isaiah 55 and seven, I'll go back to John. Okay, Isaiah 55 and seven. Well, you know what, let's go, let's skip down to Isaiah 55 and eight. It says this, it says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, your ways save the Lord. You see that? Because the, the ways that our minds think and operate, it's not on a level of righteousness, okay? Because otherwise, the Lord would have had no reason to give us the law, statutes, and commandments to our forefather, Moses, on Mount Sinai. So the fact that the Lord had to give, our, give us the law, statutes, and, and the law, statutes, and commandments via by the hand of our forefather, Moses, from Mount Sinai, proves that our minds was not right. Because your mind is going to tell you that it's okay to eat pork. It's kosher, but is that, is that what the Lord said in the Holy Scriptures? No, okay? In Leviticus 11, verse seven, the Lord clearly tells you that the pork is unclean and that you're not supposed to eat it. You see, your mind will tell you that it's okay to smoke, but what did the Lord say? Okay, the Lord said that if any man defile the temple, him shall, shall the Lord destroy, for the temple is holy, which temple you are, and your body is the temple of the Lord. Okay? So the reason why we were given the laws, statutes, and commandments, it was so we could have a guide to how, how we ought to conduct ourselves on this planet. Because... If we was to follow after what our mind believes what is right from wrong, we'll end up destroying ourselves. Because our minds don't know right from wrong, but the Lord does. And he told us what is right and what is wrong according to the Holy Scriptures. According to the knowledge, wisdom and understanding, which is in the Holy Scriptures. So when you go around talking about, you know, oh, nah, nah, see, I can pack heat. You know, I got to defend myself. And, well, you're going off of what your mind said. You're not, you're not going off of what the Lord said. Because the Lord said, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. 
You see, if you just follow the if you just followed what the Lord said to do, you wouldn't have to worry about packing heat to camp. But, you know, Jake, Jake want to go out on the highways and hedges on some tough guy shit, you know, saying saying things that, that that could get him killed, that can get him shot, that can get him stabbed up, kidnapped, robbed, beaten, you know. When in the Holy Scriptures, it tells you not to be rash with your mouth. Neither let your mind be hasty to utter anything before the Lord. You see, when you go out on the highways and hedges to prophesy, you're not you're not going out there to be some tough guy. Then I see if you now he, if he come up to camp today trying to be a demon and trying to put hands on me, I'm going to put out the pull out the heat on him. No, nah, man. No. OK, no. It, it, it don't work that way. <laughs> you know. The scriptures say be not rash with thy mouth. But, um, you know, you know, Jake, Jake want to do things his way because he wants to live life by, 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 by what his mind perceives to be right and wrong. So then when he finally learns that he's a Hebrew Israelite, he learns about the Lord's ways. He realizes that the truth don't really profit him. Why? Because the Holy Scriptures is a spiritual book. And if you if you try to open up the scriptures and, and, and read it. Just to fit your own needs. Especially with a carnal mindset, the truth is not going to profit you. Because the scriptures is likened to a two edged sword. And it tells you that in um, Hebrews, I believe, the fourth chapter. Yahweh is that two edged sword. Yahweh is the truth. He comes in the volume of the book. And Yahweh is a spiritual man. So you're, you're not going to just come to this truth trying to serve Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh how you want to serve him. No, you got to you got to worship Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh how how he said to worship him. The scriptures tell you that, that, that the Lord is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So uh, if you're trying to come to the truth with a carnal mindset, it's not going to profit you. OK, you're going to find yourself getting cut by many things you read in the scriptures and then you're going to get offended. And then and then you're going to you're going to make counter videos. You're going to start being a demon, and you know. And a lot of things come with getting butt hurt. Why? Because you're, you're, you're coming with a carnal mindset. You're, you're not coming with a spiritual mindset. And we all know what Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh Shai said that he is the door, he is the way. So if you're not coming into this truth by Yahweh Shai, which, which what did Yahweh Shai say? He said no man can come to him except the Father draw him and he will raise him up at the last days. And some of you guys, the Lord woke up to the truth just to judge you. Okay, so Isaiah 55 uh, verse 8, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways, my ways, save the Lord. Okay, our thoughts are, are prone to be corrupted by demons, you know. And our, our minds are not perfect. So what? We got to do our best to walk in the spirit to the best of our ability. Okay, you want to worship Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you got to do your best to walk in the spirit. Let's see. Let me see Isaiah. Let's 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 go back to the book of John, six, verse sixty-three. No, you 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 guys are coming coming to the shoe with a carnal mindset, you know. But it's not going to profit you. The Lord is not going to protect you. He's not going to have an angel around you. Okay, because you 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 you're basically being hostile towards him. Why? Because you're coming at him with a carnal mindset. Because the carnal mind is enmity with Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak on you, these are the words of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He said that the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. And they are life. 
So, so the words of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, it's not going to profit you if you come into the truth with a carnal mindset. Why? Because the words that Yahweh Shai speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So if, if you want to come in this truth, but you still want to eat pork, you still want to get tattoos, you still want to commit adultery, you still want to be a mo, you still want to have, uh, you still want to be a man with long hair and have dreads, well, this truth is not going to profit you. And guess what? When Jacob's trouble come, when, when, when Jacob's trouble come, the, the, you're not going to be protected. The Lord is not going to defend you because you didn't come in by the door, which is Yahweh Shai. But, but you try to climb up some other way. Okay. So, you know, you know, like, like, like the beloved brother Menach de Zagba said, you know, you got all these, uh, these myth, misfits who are trying to come up some other way, you know. Why? Because they are unlearned carnal Israelites who whine over getting rebuked because they don't see they, they, they don't see the spiritual words that are coming out of those rebuke videos because they're not in the spirit. Why? Because they came into the truth with a carnal mindset and this truth is not profiting them. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.